people of God, I'm going to continue this video before the anointing on the moment lifts from this video. I do not know what happened, but my camera stopped recording. But just as I'm instructing you to follow the instruction of God, I have to do the same thing. The thing that the Spirit of the Lord impressed upon me is that there are some of you who God has given specific strategic instruction on things that he has required and desires for you to do. And what God was showing me is that even there's even some people who right now, they feel as though that they're in their happiest point in their life. Things seem to be working right. You're getting a raise on the job that God told you, that God strategically told you to leave. You're with someone who God strategically told you not to be with. And at this point, as the weather is changing and things are warming up and you believe that you're in one of the jolliest seasons in your life, God told me to tell you that if you do not take heed, and follow the instruction that he has given you to take. That those things that you think have brought you so much happiness will begin to crumble. And will actually bring just the opposite of what you're enduring or experiencing right now. There's some people who are watching this video and as God has instructed me, I am not tagging anyone in this video. I believe that the people who find this video will be the people that God has led to it because of the people that he's dealing with. But there's a certain number of you who know exactly, exactly to the T what I'm speaking of. And this word is hearing, hitting and piercing your heart even right now. There's some instruction that God has given you and told you what to do. You think about it all the time. You think about it before you go to bed. You think about it while you're in the shower. You think about it while you're walking from the parking ramp on your way to work. I'm just going to make sure that this is still recording because this word will not fall on stony ground in Jesus' name. Amen. You think about it all the time, but because of people, because of circumstance, because of things, you have allowed the enemy to trick you out of following the instruction that God has given you. But I charge you today by the power and the authority of God that you will get up from that place of rest, that place of complacency, and that you would do exactly what God said. I promise you and I adjure to you that it is too expensive. It's not worth it. Your anointing is on the line. Your generations are on the line based upon the simple instructions that God is giving you. You cannot pay the cost. My brothers and sisters, you cannot pay the cost. At the end of the day, what you will lose will be more than you think that you gain. You will not be. It's too expensive. To pay the cost not to follow this instruction that God has given you. Now there are some things that God has told you that because of your lack and slack that God may have may not have brought reproach. But God is bringing you this video and he strategically told me that it's instructions, it's directions that you have allowed the enemy to reroute, to misdirect you on. And you are now on a path that you have no clue how you got on. But God is coming to give you another chance to get it right. I encourage you today as it is 1017 on the 23rd of March 2010 that you get it to together one more time. I charge you today that you will follow the instruction that God has given you. I, I just I just keep hearing the cost, the cost, what it will cost you. You can't pay it. You're going to come short at the end of the day because you didn't follow the instruction and you won't be able to plead ignorance because you know it. You wrote it. You know what God told you to do. But because you're, you're still connected to people that God told you to let go in 2009. God told you to start writing. You haven't even opened up a Word document to even start with the table of contents. There's stuff for you to do. You are qualified. That's why he chose you. You are qualified to do exactly what he has called you to do. Stop thinking that it's for somebody else. Stop looking at evangelist so-and-so or pastor so-and-so or prophet this or that. God said you do it. And today I charge you to know, look yourself in the mirror and know that you are qualified. That's why he gave you the instruction. He didn't give it to them. Do not drop the ball on your own destiny. It, the, I feel it. I feel it. And if I be not a man of God, I know exactly what I'm telling you to be true. That if there's an instruction that God has given you, you need to complete it to the order, to the T, or your life will crumble. Your life will crumble and you will not be able to put the pieces back together. They say Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. 
all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty back together again. And that's the same way I feel tonight. That the things that you think you're enjoying now, they will begin to crumble. And you will not be able to repair those things. I charge you by the blood of Jesus Christ to get it right while you still have time. I'm done. I don't got nothing else. I pray that this video reaches whoever is supposed to.